Hi! Before they retire and are gone for good, I'm going to demonstrate for you a delicate and pretty card I designed using the Stampin' Up! Oso oh Succulent Stamp Set and Coordinating Succulent Framelits Dies. So glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So be sure to stick around to the end because I made two more cards using the same basic card design because I wanted to show off even more of the fabulous succulent framelits dies. Here's a closer view of the Oso oh Succulent stamp set. Aren't those some just really pretty flowers? And then the coordinating succulent framelits dies. Look, there are so many. I guess I should have taken a picture to know how to get them all on there so you could see them all. <laughs> and so when you look at the 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog, the samples in here using the Oso oh Succulent really pretty. They stamped, there's an outline image and then a fill, and they did the outline image in a darker pink on this one and then a lighter one, and the same with the rest. And I start off that way and then I change my mind. I thought, no, we're going to do black on the outside instead. So I have here some Whisper White cardstock. Now the uh, Oso oh Succulent stamp set, it's a photopolymer stamp set, meaning the stamps are clear until they get stained. <laughs> okay, and so because I'm going to stamp with black, if I'm not watercoloring, um, when using my photopolymer stamps, I like to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. For whatever reason, it doesn't stain my stamps in black. So we'll take that lid off, and here's that outline. Let's go ahead and ink this up. Tap, and come over here and stamp. Very, very nice. All right, so we're done with this for now. And next, we're going to use the Flirty Flamingo Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and lock that lid into place. And so now we have the fill stamp. It's solid. So let's go ahead and give this a good inking. There we go. And because it's photopolymer, we can see right where we're stamping. Now, I like to hover right over, but if I do that, you won't be able to see. So, hopefully I do a pretty good job here. Looking good from here. Let's just go for it. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and die cut this next. So I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine, and because we're going to be die cutting with a framelit die, it's a thin metal die that's open in the center, and a framelit because it's going to frame the stamped image. I'm using the magnetic platform because it's going to hold it in place when we feed it through. The magnetic platform is an additional purchase, but one I can't recommend enough if you're going to be using framelit dies. So this is the start of our sandwich, and then a cutting pad and then the cardstock we just stamped, and then our framelit die from the succulent framelit dies, and did you hear that click? Then you know it's clinging to it. Okay, so we're just going to rotate it till we get it right where we want it. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Just like my stamping, I like to hover over top when die cutting too. And, uh, and so you need this cutting pad to be fairly nice and straight and not all warped because so the cling, you know, so the magnet can do its job. Okay, so then the next part and the last part is another cutting pad to finish our sandwich. So we'll go ahead and crank that through. And boy, this is just a thing of beauty that we can do that so quickly instead of sitting there and hand trimming all of those. So we've got our die cut flower, some Whisper White cardstock, and the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad again. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here just for placement for right now. And then I'm going to start with a greeting, because that's going to help me with the placement with the flowers. Let's go ahead and take that lid off. And let's give this a good inking. Here we go. Right side up helps. <laughs> this greeting is included in the stamp set. Happy birthday to a very special person. So let's come right here. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do the outlines first. This is very similar to the larger flower, smaller one of the flower we just did. A good inking. Let's come about right here. Aha! And with that sitting there, let's say about right here. Oh, looking oh so good. Okay, 
And so then we have this flower. I can't even begin to know what, I have no idea what this is, but it looks good. We'll come up over here and we'll go in between them. There we go, just a little bit of an overlap. And oh, I wanted yet another one. This is even smaller. Let's come down over here. Help fill, oops, I didn't look all inked. Okay, there we go. Help fill this corner in, some right here. Oh, looking, oh, so good. And then this long one. Like this a lot. Let's ink this up. And I'm going to turn it. I want some of it coming down right along here. But it'll get covered up. So I don't have to worry about the placement. All I'm worrying about is where it comes down right there. And so when we put our flower here, oh yeah, everything's going to look really good. So we're done with the Tuxedo Black Momento ink pad. So now let's bring back the Flirty Flamingo Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, and lock that lid into place. And I consider doing these all different colors, but I liked it best keeping them the same. But they're going to be the same, but still a little bit different, because we're going to do a technique that's called stamping off. So I'm going to ink this up on here, and then on a piece of scrap paper, I'm going to stamp off some of the ink. So we're going to get a lighter version of the same color. And, oh, isn't that pretty? This is one of the easiest two-step stamp sets I've ever done. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, so pretty. Okay, and, oh, if I have this orientation right, uh, I think it needs to be turned. I want to stamp this one off too. Oh, there we go, that's good. Aha, and then this to fill this in. I decided to leave this one full strength, so we won't stamp off for that. We'll come over here, rotate around. I think you've got a better view than I do. Oh, good, good, good. All right, so we're done with this for the moment. Let's go ahead and close it. So you pull on that lip, flip, and click. Okay, and then I have Wild Wasabi for this piece down here. There we go. And let's get the solid one to fill this in. And I want to stamp off again. I tried it full strength and it was a little bit dark compared to the other. Let's see which way my orientation, I think this is it. Okay, let's stamp off. There we go. Yep, that's the way it goes. Let's fill in some color. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, we're done with this, so let's go ahead and pull and close that. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. Um, I've got some basic black cardstock, and I'll have all the measurements on my blog post. I'll have a link to that underneath the video. And so I've got Fast Fuse Adhesive, so let's turn this over. There we go. About an inch in each corner is perfect. Now I only cut this an eighth of an inch larger, and so that only gives you a sixteenth all the way around. So you have to be extra careful, but I just love that little hint of black. And isn't that pretty with my black outline flowers? Because I was going to do white on the white, my base, and then when I decided to change my mind, I told you I was doing first all pink for the outline. I thought, ooh, that's going to make it really sharp. And so talking about the base of my card being white, this is the Whisper White Thick cardstock. It's sturdier than the Whisper White and makes for a great card base. Look at that. Okay, and so let's go ahead, because this is a, a simple card, quite dainty but simple. We're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, these are foam adhesive dots and we're going to put these behind. Just that little bit of lift is going to dress this up. So we definitely want one in each corner, but because this is a good sized piece, let's go ahead and put one in the center. Okay, take our thumbnail and that makes the that backing, that piece just, the edges pop up so they're easy to get off. Okay, there we go, and center this on here. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm. That that little bit of black, and so then let's go ahead and use Stampin' Dimensionals again to give this some lift. And one in the center will be just perfect. Our thumbnail, 
and I designed this on purpose to go off the edge. I love that look when, when it goes off the edge a little bit. Let's see how I want that rotated. I'm just playing. Okay, probably right back where I was. <laughs> but look at that. Very, very simple. That was quick to make, but oh so delicate and pretty. And okay, and I promised you that I made a couple more cards because there are so many fabulous dies in the set. We've got the framelits and then some others. It's so like I said, that same basic design, but using, aren't those beautiful? That's these big solid ones right here. Oh, oh so pretty. And dimensionals between the layers and these tips. There's a stamp in there. There's just so many fabulous stamps in this set. It's just amazing. So many little touches. Oh, speaking of that, you know what? We're not done because I do have another little touch to do this. Okay, and then I do have that other one. Don't let me forget. Let's bring this back. The flirty flamingo. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. And here's one of those little touches. Now we're going to do it solid. My preference would have been to do this before I put on dimensionals, but I think we're going to be okay because this is how I did my card too. All right. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Just three little blossoms, so full strength. And just adding a little... Oh, isn't that sharp? Okay, so let's go ahead and... Now we're truly done with this one. And the other card I did because there is another set and there are three different sizes. And so for this one, I layered it. These are single and I layered all three and then, then turned them. So just really simple cards using, you know, the dies and then, you know, a framelit with a stamped image like this. So lots of fun. And so, um, boy, the succulent framelits dies, they're on the retiring list. That means they're available now only while supplies last. They could sell out any time. I hope you're able to get them before they do because these two together are just incredible. If you'd like to make my Oso oh succulent card, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. But please hurry because the succulent frameless dies are available now only while supplies last and the Oso oh succulent stamp set, well, guaranteed available only through May 22nd, 2017. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.